It's Sunday, and you know what Sunday means, don't you? It's fry up day. Yeah, it's now officially fry up day, Mazzy. Because I had one last Sunday. Sausages, six sausages, bacon, mushrooms, two eggs, beans, and waffles for a change. Lovely. Right, I'm being sent to the shop. It's a joke, is this? Honestly, it's a tiny, tiny little shop down there. If you want chips, there'll be one kind of chips. If you want sausages, there'll be one kind of sausages. Uh, she's given me a list here. Milk, yeah. They're going to have milk. Pain relief tablets, they're going to have that. Sausages, they'll probably have some of them. S gastro chips. As if they're going to have McCain's gastro chips. Which you can only get in like the biggest supermarkets anyway. A hook. A hook to hang a, a dressing gown on. As if they're going to have a hook. She hasn't been in, you see. She's only stood outside before. She's not actually been in. Uh, and this one just... This this just takes the biscuit, this. Skipping rope. Skipping rope. On this, Mazzy, this shop's about ten foot by four foot. Skipping rope. I'll go into the toy section upstairs, see what they've got, yeah? Unbelievable. You'll get your milk, and you'll be happy with that. Trust me. Look what I've just found on the way to the shop. I knew I could hear a donkey the other night. I knew I could hear a donkey. Oh my God, what are you? A donkey and a goat. Hello. Hello. Oh yeah, you lovely, 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 lovely animals. Oh, Mazzy's going to be so jealous that she didn't come. Hello. Hello. Beautiful. How are you doing in lockdown? Hey, keep distance. Come on, two metres. Two metres, come on. So been to the shop. Got milk. <laughs> Nothing else on your list. Knew there wouldn't be. Um, and I got another Southern Star newspaper. Um, just talking to them about it. She said, oh, are you the ones who were in it the other week? I said, yeah. And she knew we were staying on the campsite. We must be like the talk of the tiny little village. Just talking about Owen and Barbara, saying how lovely they are. And yeah, get back now, see if, yeah I did get a Southern Star, the, the next edition, just to see if there's an update, because they have actually been in touch with Owen on the campsite, asking him a few questions, so whether they're going to actually put a little update story in or not, I don't know. It's a very dangerous road this, and this is in lockdown, you know, it's quite busy on lockdown, imagine what it's like when the country's not in lockdown. The first thing I did when I got up this morning, right, as you've probably, probably already seen by now, but I received a package, all my um, summery bits and a few personal bits, the whole lot was covered in beer and mould. Even the mould had grown on it. I think it's like the, um, the stuff in the beer, you know? So anyway, yes, yeah, so I've had to rewash literally everything. Um, I had GHG straighteners in there. They seem all right, but I think Dan's going to test them before I use them. <laughs> Just to double check. What did what, right? I got... <sighs> my sister had kindly sent me my heels. And you could clearly see that one of the heels had gone through one of the John Smiths. So yeah, um, so I've cleaned my heels up. I'm just gonna go take you out and show you my clothes because there's one particular item. It's totally ruined and I need help. Advice, please. So yes, I had at this amount of washing to rinse through. I wouldn't mind, it was all freshly laundered when it was sent off to me. Um, a lot of it was stained and just smelt a beer, but this, my lovely beautiful blue blazer I don't know if you can see guys the mold it's the stuff in the beer and it's totally just ruined now my jacket guys is there any advice you can give me to get this mold out of the jacket otherwise the jacket's got to now go in the bin and I'm well cutted good morning my lovelies Good morning, everybody. Long time no see. Yeah, Mazzy's been to Barbados again uh, yeah. in a Wonder Woman outfit. I'll just show you on this camera now. Yeah, yeah. We've got two cameras. We've got two cameras. <laughs> yeah, Wonder Woman, look, she's just been to Barbados. She has a new camera set up. Are you excited? Look at me, guys. Proper frog art. This is 
so good, isn't it? It's like a mini it. version of mine. It's fantastic. Yeah, Absolutely it's, fantastic. It's like a daddy one and a mummy one. Yeah. I love it. They're so, so cute together. We'll go into more detail <laughs> on that later on, but this yeah. was sent as a lovely present. Massive, massive thank you to you, who doesn't yes. want to be named on video. But uh, you are so appreciative, aren't you? I am so appreciative. And then Dan obviously has finished it all off lovely with the mic. Well, I was surprised we were going to be able to. We've got a stand on yeah. there. This is the old one which I had, which is a bit... It doesn't stand up very well anymore, but it works. We didn't have all the connectors, etc, no. etc. But Dan's wanged it and winged it and he's got it all lovely for me. And the sound... <laughs> Um, we've managed to get an external microphone on there, yes. which isn't any good unless it's windy. Yeah. It hisses, which we can only put that down to the camera. I've tried all different settings, but, but the, the camera internal... itself is amazing. I love it. Oh, yeah. The internal <laughs> microphone on it is brilliant anyway. Yeah. It's just when it's windy, that's going to be needed. So. so thank you very much for my new camera. I can't even say your name. I'm not allowed to, but thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, seeing as we've both got a camera now, yeah, um, we can both do our own thing. Yes. Don't need to be in each other's pockets all day anymore. So I'll okay. see you later, love. See yeah. you about tea time. See you yeah. Later. I've got lots of things to show you. So I tried to send you off with your new camera, but I need a camera woman now. Um, right. I just want to look at a few things under the bonnet, which people mentioned from the videos we've done recently. Okay. Yeah. So, first thing is, the screen wash. Take a good look at this, Mazzy. Yeah. Some people were saying the blue bit pulls out to make it easier to put oh, okay. in. Because if you just step back a moment, this won't go in there. You can't, you can't fill it up. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, I just want to confirm nothing pulls out. Really? It doesn't extend at all. No. So, people who said that, you're wrong. Yeah, it just looks like a cab. I'm sure it might do on some, actually, though. Now, some people said you can get, like, a funnel with a horse pipe already on it. That would do the job. Yeah. Um, there's lots of ways you could do it. But I've already got the hack, guys. I've already got the hack. I'd already thought about this. If I open that up, I have got something. <laughs> this is off an old oil can we had. No, petrol. A uh, petrol can. Yeah. A uh, plastic one. Yeah. And for some reason we kept this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. But that is going to be perfect. That will go funnel in one end, either end. In fact, that... Will that stick? If that does, you could that, actually... That goes on. Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it's... Well, I've got another funnel anyway. No, Gorilla tape. Well, whichever, whichever. <laughs> will that fit in there? That's never been used for diesel, so this is cling, isn't it? So there you go. Ah. Oh, okay. It needs a bit of fixing, but that will do the job. So we can actually get as thing in now as uh, screen wash. But terrible design, absolutely terrible design. So yeah, just wanted to check them two things from people's comments. Thank you very much. Do um, listen to you. Wait, while we're here, would you like to check just the cardboard underneath and just check, double check, we've not got no oil leaks since the job. <laughs> yes, we can do that. It is wet. Yeah, it's been raining. We've had a lot of heavy rain. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's fresh. No, that, I think that was already on it. Yeah. So, yeah, no oil leak. Is it leak. over? Is it clean? No, we're not. It wasn't clean to start with. There's definitely no oil <laughs> leak. There's no we've, oil. We've been out in it and we've not seen any. So, well done, honey. Well done, Owen. <laughs> Owen, yeah. <laughs> honey, Owen. Honey, Owen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorted. Me and Dan, you guys wouldn't have noticed this, but me and Dan have actually had two, a well-deserved two days off, haven't we? Much needed. To be honest, we needed it. Yes. Since I did the oil <laughs> job. Yeah. You've had big leg problems, haven't you? Massive leg pro I can hardly stand or walk, can I? She can walk in a straight line and she's fine, but as soon as she turns, her leg goes and she's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and she's been really bad with it, so I yeah. said, rest that up for a few days. I have been in agony with bruises since I did the oil yeah, change. Yeah, show me bruises. It looks more like a tan. Look at it, guys. It's, it's still coming out. That'll be purple tomorrow, but that's sore, is that? Yeah. I don't know if I just kept banging it on the pipe or we something. We had a few people thinking it was all just fake and on for the camera. Yeah, you, yeah. But it wasn't. I really am that stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's not that, but... Anyway, what do you think of my bruise? I think that's fantastic. It's a lovely looking tan going on It's there, a beauty, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Very manly. Couple on that one as well. Yeah, not bad. So there's going to be a lot of talking in this video because we've got a lot of things to talk about. We had loads of questions thrown at us, didn't we? Loads of questions <laughs> yeah. from Mark Erdale. Iredale. I R R I R E Dale. I don't know how you say that. I don't know. Erdale. Erdale. <laughs> Mark Erdale. <laughs> Thinking about getting a motorhome in the future, I think our videos have inspired him to want to get one. Yeah. But he's sent a few questions, and he thinks some of them are silly, but honestly, they're no. really good questions. These are the best questions we've ever These had. These are the best questions. These are questions I was asking ourselves before we even got one. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Really good questions. So we'll throw them in throughout the video. We won't yeah. just rabbit on in one single Maybe we'll do one, one or two now and then. Yeah. But first one, silly question. How do you lock your motorhome when you're inside it? I'm thinking if the alarm's set when you lock the cab doors and you're in the motorhome, it's going to go off. So how do you secure the motorhome without setting off the alarms? Very good question. Very good. I, I actually remember, I think, asking you that before we, we even got a motorhome. And I, I kept thinking, yeah. what, would, what would the security be like once we're inside? Until I found a button on the dashboard, I didn't know. So you've got two different ways of locking up on an evening. Yeah. We'll show them the way we tend to do it. Yeah. Firstly. Yeah. It depends where we're parked. Yeah, it depends where we're yeah, parked. So don't... <laughs> this is the first way anyway. Yeah. So the first little thing you have to do is very, very, very simple. You've got a little lock there and that literally just locks. I'm going to stop saying literally. You've got me doing it now. I know. <laughs> We're really bad at saying literally, especially you. Yes. We need to cut the that amount, out. The amount of editing you have to do with me yeah. with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you've got a little lock there, and that locks both doors on the cab. Nobody can get in um, or out. Can you get out? Yeah, you can get out. You, oh, they yeah. just can't get in. You can get yeah. out. So that's locked. We always keep that locked, unless we, even when we're stationary, really, yeah, don't we? Yeah, always, yeah. Um... So then all you've got is your side. habitation door. Your side door, guys. Which is habitation very... Habitation door, that's what posh word. That's is that what, what it's called? That's what it's called. Is it? Which is very simple. Lock. Yeah. That's locked, nobody can get in from the outside. Yeah. That's open. And that's how to open it. And that's always locked. We always keep that locked. That's so always that's locked. That's just kind of habit we've gotten into it. You know, when it? you're in here... Yeah. Even though we're going nowhere and we're in a safe environment, we always have it locked. It's I very it's easy just, to open. Yeah, it's just habit. Good habit to get into. So we are now fully secure, but there's another way, and you know more about this than I do. Well, I've got to refresh my brain about it, but it's, it's to do with the key fob. Yeah. Right, so guys, when you're inside the cab and you want an alarm, this is where, when, where the button Dan's just shown you don't give you an alarm, it just locks all the cab. So if you go onto your key fob... Yeah. Right, I haven't done this for a while, so let's just test this. I think if you hold the lock button down... That's it. I just heard it lock, Mazzy. Yeah. You just have to keep it pressed. And I then think it... you keep it pressed and it's locked, but you can move about. Okay. And it doesn't set the alarm off. Okay, that's very good. That's yeah. very good. That is good, isn't it? <laughs> I think that's right. Right, go and open the door. Would that, would that test it? Just no, test it. No, it's going to go off. We don't want it going off. There's, there's sheep and lambs around, Mazzy. Oh, gosh, yeah. So that's how you do... Well, with, this is with our particular fan, and I think all fans would have the same kind of security function on Having theirs. said that, we've got... I think it's called a Class 1 alarm or something. It's, it's, it's top alarm, of the range. Can... Alarm 1 or Alarm one A. Or something. Yeah. And it's the best you can get, best yeah. kind of alarm you can get. So whether you would have it on all motorhomes, I don't know. So unlock it. Yeah. And yeah. that's how we keep our van locked up up in the evening. Good yeah. question. I like that, that is question. a really good question. I remember questioning that before we even got a van. It is a I, really I were always question. worried when we first got it until I found that button on the dash and then I felt safe. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Coldy. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
birthday, Cody. Happy birthday, Cody. How old's Cody? He's four today. My little nephew. He's so gorgeous. He watches us all the time. So he's going to love this. Should okay. we blow the candle out and do a wish for him? Okay. Shall I pretend I'm you, Cody? Shall I blow it out for you? Ready? Blow. One, two, three. Blow! <laughs> It worked. It worked. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope you've had a lovely day. <laughs> Do you like watching Auntie Manny yeah, and Dan? Lunch, honey. Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> to all you other guys, getting a lot of requests for birthdays at the moment. Please don't send them in because we can't do birthday requests for one person and not everybody else. We're only doing it for Cody because he's a special little boy and his family. So we'll do one more question for now. Yeah, one more question. I'll tell you what, I really like these questions. Mm. They're so sensible. Right. Do you turn the gas off before you set off on a journey? And how do you know if the gas bottle is running low? Um, are there any tools you can add to the part that fits to the gas bottle? What does that mean? Oh. There is any... there something you can put on the gas bottle to tell you if it's full or not, I think? Oh, right, right. So let me repeat that. Sorry, guys. I don't think you need to, Mazza. I think they all get the gist. Can you turn <laughs> right, it off okay. when you move? Should you turn it off when you're moving? And how do you know your levels? And how do you know your levels? Yeah, very I... good question. I think this one's for me, Mazza. Yeah. I know all the answers to yeah. this one. Nearly. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I don't know the answer to this one. I don't know if you meant to turn the gas off whilst you're travelling. I would guess not. So that you can keep your fridge on. So, we don't, we always have his gas on, you know, we're not using it as we're driving, no. but it's always in the system. Now, under here, there are three knobs. One goes, it looks like that's for the cooker, the hobs, uh, the water or something. Maybe you're supposed to turn them 90 degrees to turn the complete supply of gas off while you're travelling. We don't know, so if someone could tell us that, yeah. Or do you travel with your gas on? It's never been a problem for us. I don't think it's dangerous as long as you're not, you know, as long as you've not got the oven on whilst you're travelling or something like that, or a kettle on. Well, actually, it brings me back to a question I always wondered. Maybe the guys can help with this. Can you cook something while travelling? And I'm sure a lot of people might ask that question too. Okay, can you be roasting a chicken, for example, whilst you're driving along? Yeah, so because it's that will take, when you get there. So that'll take a few <laughs> hours to do. I would say that is very dangerous, <laughs> but people with motor homes, please answer that. Tell us yeah. if it's possible, if it's safe, blah de blah Right, uh, next question. How can you tell, or can you tell, if the gas bottle is empty? Yeah. Or how full it is. Come outside and I'll just have a little word with you. So the simple answer for us is no. With this type of tank, you can't tell if how much you've got left in, apart from if you lift it up, you can tell if it's lighter or not. Can you? Yes, yeah, sort of. Is it like liquid? You it's a liquid inside. Right. So it gets lighter as you're running out, but you can never tell, you can never tell. I did buy, it was like a sticker, a magnet. It's a magnet which goes yeah. onto the bottle and it's supposed to tell you when it's getting low. I don't know if it worked or not. I think I put it on one bottle, then I exchanged the bottle and I forget to, forgot to took the magnet off. I'm sure lots of people yeah. have done that, haven't they? So I wouldn't I wouldn't advise them. Um the one thing I can I don't know, maybe you can get a device which will tell you exactly how much is in. Yeah. But the only solution to that, I would say, is you can get a new kind of system. I don't know if it's the gas flow system. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's LPG bottles, safe flow, I don't know. There is a certain kind of bottle which is slightly see-through and you can see exactly how much um, oh. you've got left. But not with these which we use. Unfortunately for us, we just literally, it will go when Stop it wants to Stop saying literally. Oh, sorry, yeah. It will just go when it goes in. It could be 12 o'clock at night when i got the kettle on you. You've got to go out in your pants and change it, haven't you? It is always 12 o'clock <laughs> at night, is, it? yeah. So that's uh, answered that one, I hope. Bit of a problem, never knowing how much gas you've got. But, hey, that's why you should always have another one spare and full. At the moment, we haven't. That one's empty. So oh, is it? Yes, so once oh. that goes, we have to go to uh, get some more gas. Right. But that should last us a long time. 
So there's some really good questions. We're gonna fit these in during the day, aren't yeah, we? I like these. Yeah, really good. So let's talk about your new camera, Mazzy. Let's do it. <laughs> it is a Canon SX yes. 60HS. Let's just show them the size first compared to mine. I'll just take a quick photo of us side by side. So I'm filming on the phone now so you can see the difference between the two. Now yours is just like a mini version of mine, isn't it? It's so cute. It is. <laughs> this is what we got, you know, the body. We didn't get this we already had. Yeah, Now and this. And this. So, first thing to say, this is a 65 times optical zoom. It's amazing. It is the best zoom I have ever seen on any camera, <laughs> yeah. ever. Go on then. I want, I'm really impressed with this. Look how long this go, it goes. <laughs> she doesn't care what it does. <laughs> no. She just likes the fact it grows very long. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get a few comments, isn't it? So what we're going to do, yeah. you see this little house over here in the distance, I believe that's 400 years old and Owen has actually renovated that and done it all out, it looks lovely inside. He took me for a little tour of it yesterday. So what we're going to do is set up your camera yeah. and my camera side by side and show you the difference in zoom. So we've got them set up side by side. I'm going to show you on my camera first of all. Now the lens I have got is a wide angle lens, especially for vlogging. It makes, you know, it gets all us facing and the surrounding area. So it won't zoom in at all. See the building in the far distance? That is as far as I can zoom on with this lens. Now I have got a bigger lens, but it's just too much hassle changing the lens all the time. So that's as far as I can go. Now, let's check Mazzy's out. So now let's check out Mazzy's camera. You're going to be amazed, you really are. You've got to remember this is mainly going to be good for photos, not for videos, because it's too shaky to do it so far away. But look at the building. I am now going to zoom in. How incredible is this? Get further in. Right, that's as far in as it will go. It's, you know, it's shaky at the moment, and that's on a tripod. So that is how far it goes. Absolutely incredible. So for wildlife, I'm really excited about using this for wildlife shots. Maz is just excited about it for vlogging, obviously. Because we've now both got a camera, Mazzy. Yay! Thank you! So one thing we noticed is the sound on this. Yes. Couldn't really get my head around this. The sound on the camera itself is fantastic. The internal um, sound. Are you recording at the moment, Mazzy? I am, yes. Right, so they can hear how good the sound is on that. Yep. Um, but we put this on, thinking it'd make it sound even better, but it doesn't. Do you want to just plug that in now, Mazzy? Yes. It's in. So this is now with the external microphone on, which is fantastic again, but when you, you stop talking, there's a right hissing in the background. Yeah, we won't edit that out, no. the noise. Yeah. Let's just be quiet and let's see if it hisses. Okay, so I have played around with all the settings trying to get that hissing off and I can't do it. I just can't do it. So what we've decided to do is have no external microphone on when it's like this. Perfect wind, no wind, perfect yeah. conditions. As soon as there's any wind, we're going to plug in the external and use it in manual mode because it seems to be better on manual mode and use the external. Did that make any sense? Am I blabbering? I'm talking. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going on, aren't I? Yeah. So with every camera, there's downsides. Do you want to tell them what yeah. the problems are with it? They're not massive, but there is problems. No. And these problems might won't be problems to anyone else, but might not be, but they are to me. Yes. Right. So for one, it's kind of like the new shaped battery and they're really expensive to replace so if you want spares yes etc etc you know they're quite actually expensive. i think they were about 60 70 80 pounds weren't they when we were looking yeah because because we nearly got a camera which took them and it put us off because we they were so expensive it, didn't we? Yeah. yeah but luckily this comes with two of them <laughs> two of them and they're proper canon ones they're not just cheap yeah. ones so and that's they will really good. that will record for about two and a half hours will that so they are very well we've not tested it but well, you think so yeah so they are very good, 
so I'll charging. just put this down and the only then other downfall that I can say and I'm very grateful I'm not nitpicking <laughs> but um, to charge then your battery mm -hmm. I've been given this mm -hmm. I'm sure there might be other devices you can use there's a three pin plug yes and we, we we're hardly ever on a campsite and you know it's it can be a pro well it would be a problem gonna, normally yeah but luckily <laughs> We have the new, new generator, generator, the solar generator, yeah. so that we, we can still charge it. But I believe you can buy ones which are USB instead. Yeah, because your um, battery charger, one of these, is USB. Yeah, so. I'm pretty sure you can change that to USB yeah. for about seven, ten pounds, something so like if, that. I'm not being nitpicky. I'm just saying, like, you yeah, know, for, now, yeah it's, for now, it could be a tiny problem. Yeah. But overall, overall buzzing. fantastic buzzing. Can I buzz? Can you buzz? Yeah. Zzz, I'm buzzing. <laughs> what are you doing? I was I'm buzzing. I got a new camera. So the last thing to say about it really is it's a very similar shape and design to to mine. So you, you you'll yeah. be able to use this quite easily, won't you? Yeah, I don't use a lot of the settings, but the, the the buttons I do use is practically almost the same as yours. So it's very simple. And the only difference is with mine, you actually turn this to zoom in and out. Yeah. You will have to use this little yeah. knob here, but you will get used to that very easily. Yeah. So yeah, we're ready and raring to go as a duet. Camera documenting vlogging a... partnership. Proper vlogger now. Caption it time. Yeah, the haven't... results. The results from the last one. Uh, what was the last one? It was me under the bonnet with the dipstick. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bent dipstick yeah. and the oil can. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the results, the top three comments <laughs> from that one. In third place is Furface. Oh, okay, well done. <laughs> I picked who won this one. Yeah. Uh, Furface, third place, which he said, proof that there is no Viagra in oil. <laughs> because the dipstick were drooping. Oh my very God. good, very good. Yeah. Second, Sorry, a bit shaky, guys. <laughs> second place, Lesser Hannah's. Why is the dipstick saying I'm three pints short of a full gallon? That's just having a bit of a go at me, I think. I don't get it. You don't get it? No. Is there something wrong with me or what? I'm not sure I get it, but I think it's funny. Okay. Anyway, I'm giving that second yeah. place. I think it's funny. <laughs> and this one, I'm giving this one, but it could have been better. It could have been better. Mm -hmm. This is Shannon O'Connell. Oh, right, yeah. She mm -hmm. said, you've, you've heard of the saying, well, I'll be damned. Uh, damned. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. It's a very American thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. Instead of, well, I'll be darned, well, I'll be darned. Oh. But what she should have done, it should have been, well, I'll be damned. Right, See okay. where I'm coming from. Should have said damned instead of darned. But, okay. uh, well, I'll be darned, Dan stopped the leak. That's what she said. Well done. Well done. Um, right. I'm not sure what I think of those, but yeah. Well, I liked them. <laughs> I liked them. You can pick the next ones. Yeah. Uh, for the next ones, it's a picture of you, Bazzy, Ooh. with your new camera. Mm. What am I up to, guys? What am I up to? Here is the picture of Mazzy testing out her new camera. So all you guys have to do is caption it. Put mm. a comment below, just put caption, and then put the caption. Uh, what you think I should be saying to Mazzy, or Mazzy should be saying as she's filming it. Just a caption. You know how this works by now. Yeah, be right. kind. <laughs> Don't be kind. <laughs> that looks like a cartoon character thing, doesn't it? That's amazing. Right, we were sent these by Simon through the post. An amazing, wonderful surprise. Aka Night Jar. AKA Night Jar. Yeah. I've never heard anyone say Aka. Haven't you? No. That's how only... I say it. Is that right, guys? I don't know. AKA. Mm, Aka. Aka, okay. Yeah. Um, and it did suggest, you know, you can keep them or you can give them away. So we've decided. Or play frisbee with them. Or play frisbee mm -hmm. with them. We've decided we're going to keep one and yes. we're going to give one away. We don't know which one yet, so we'll have to decide in a minute. Where yeah, we're going. I think what we're going to have to do, I'll go outside and film. I think yeah. we've already decided the best place for it would yeah. be. On show. On show. We were thinking here, weren't we? But no one can see that from outside. Yeah. And we did have one of these as a sticker on his windscreen but it came off. Faded. It, it faded yeah. really badly. 
So, I'm hoping these won't fade. These look these really won't fade. good. So I don't know how we would stick that to the windscreen, um, but let's just yeah, pick we'll, one. We'll let's pick that. one. Right, we need to make this quick because Maz is in the driver's seat. We're not having this. Do I look good? You, well, you don't look too good in that seat, no. <laughs> so, we did have one. It was here, actually, as an original one. So, what you were thinking was, where were you thinking? Here? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So that's one option. That's the, is that the small one? That's the small one. Right, put the big one on. Oh, big one. I think the big one's too big for there. Is it? How about we go over here? Yeah, let's try the other side. I'm not too sure about that. I don't want police. Although it wouldn't spy, it wouldn't interfere with my view, because these certainly don't. But I don't want police stopping us thinking it might ruin the view. Big one first. Big one first, okay. Something I've just noticed though, that's out of date, Mazzy, as Brit stops. That yeah, needs to come off. We're fine, yeah, is it? But anyway, another story. Yeah. That's the big one. Right, so that's the big one. Small one there. Um, or maybe there, if that do does come off. No, because we'll get a new one of these. Okay, okay. So it would go there. I quite like that. Anyway, so you've got big and small. Let's have a vote. Let's have a vote. Which should we keep, the big or small, and put it here? And in the comments, if people can give us advice how we could actually stick one of them on here um, without ruining it. Or seeing sticky pads, etc. What? I mean, you don't want to see sticky pads, etc. No. either. And all it is, guys, is like a tiny little rim going around the outside. I'm thinking some kind of clear silicone or something. I don't know. Don't Someone know. might have Give an, us idea. an idea. Maybe you can buy, you know, like the spongy squares. Maybe you can buy see through ones. I don't know. Don't know. Suggestions. Give us an please. idea. <laughs> so. For the vote, Mazzy, which is which? Right, we're going to go with A is small. Yep. And B is big. Okay, so which one should we keep? A, small. A, or B, B, big. Right, with the one we've got left, we're going to do some kind of giveaway. Come back inside, we'll tell them all about it. So viewers who are not patrons, and have no intention of becoming patrons, might not like this. But please understand, yeah. there's a reason we're doing this. Since lockdown, we've struggled to get videos to put up every day. And we do promise on Patreon, we will give you extra videos. And we haven't been doing that. At least once a week, and we've struggled, guys. We haven't had the... You understand, being yeah. in lockdown, we just haven't had the possibility to make extra videos to put on Patreon. So, so this is going we to be give for... back, don't Yeah, we? this is the only way I can yeah. think to give back at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, Patrons only. What yeah. we'll do is everybody who is a Patron, you know, a current Patron, everyone who has or done... You, if you want on you, yeah. Um, or anybody who has donated in the last month. Yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll put you all into a little drawer and we'll yeah. pick one out, we'll pick a winner, and the winner will get either the small one or the big one, deciding, depending on, on which we're keeping. Speak. Yeah, as Simon kindly did say, we could give one away, so yeah. I think we'll do, we'll share our happiness and our will. joy. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll make a video on yeah. Saturday, we'll put it up on Saturday saying who the winner is, which yeah. patron or donator is the winner. Mm. Um, if, so if you want a chance to win the other one, yeah. Uh, become a patron, you know, yeah. for as little as you want. It doesn't have to be for any specific or donate, amount or, donate. or donation. I'm just going to say for an example, the backs of these, right? I don't know what we'd do if, if, the, but if we weren't having this one, we could possibly sign this and put our little. Yeah, because that's how famous we are. Well, I don't know. We could do a little message. We'll or sign something. it. Yeah, we'll, sign we'll, it. we'll do a little message or <laughs> something. If it was the black one, then I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so that will go up on Saturday night on yeah. the Patreon channel to everyone who's a patron or donator in the last yeah. month. If you'd like to enter that, please become a patron for as little yeah. as I think it's a dollar. Just so the rest of you don't feel left out if you're not a patron or donator, we are going to be doing something maybe tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, just um, bear with us. Just bear with yeah. us. But we're going to do a little thing where you could win some Travel Trolls merchandise 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah. look out for that one. We, we basically want to revamp his shop. We want some new designs. Basically, guys, we, we want some designs. We want designs. Are we talking about it now? No. Are we not? No, we'll save that for oh, tomorrow okay. or the day after. So there is going to be another giveaway for all you guys For everybody. Too. For everybody. For everybody. And n at no expense. Well, so. they have to earn it. But it uh, won't cost them anything. Oh. Just time. Just time. Just time. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've we've got a, we've actually got a new T-shirt, a few new T-shirts yeah. in the shop. You can see it's Teesprings. If you look at the bottom of the video, there's a line. It shows you about five products. Click on yeah. either, and it'll take you over to a shop. Uh, but we've just made a new one, haven't we? And we're going to be adding more as well. We are. That's but, um, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Um, but what's the new one, Mazzy? It's um. I know how much therapy costs. Yeah, I, I know how much therapy costs. <laughs> uh, that's the new t-shirt, that's also available in the shop. Which is quite a fun one, guys. Yeah. It's just like hearted, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.